Hi there you guys and Happy New Year 2024! I'm so excited for this tutorial. I will be showing these festive circular earrings with super dual beads in easy steps so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Please subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment in this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the membership perks you could see in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using in this video are 8 beads in golden color, 11 OC beads in golden color, and these beautiful super dual beads, or you could use twin beads for this work. And I'm also using here earring findings and jump rings. This is nail bond beading thread, but you could use also Nymo nylon thread for this work, or whatever you like using. Here I'm using size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12, the smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my jump rings and my earring findings to my work. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up one of those beautiful golden beads. I will slide it down and I will use it as a stopper bead. That is why I'm going like this through it. Okay. After that, guys, I need three of those beautiful super dual beads. And I'm sliding them down next to this golden bead. Okay. And I want to arrange them in this way. One, the middle one is pointing in this direction and the other two are pointing in this direction. Okay. Then what I want to do is to go through the other empty hole of the same uh, bit that I'm exiting out of, the same super dual bit, okay? And after that I'm taking just one super dual and I'm going in the other empty hole of the next bit here that I have, okay? Now this is the wanted effect and what I do next is to go in this direction to all of those three beads one more time. Okay. Now I have this. In my next step guys I'm taking one golden bead and one of those beautiful super dual beads. Slide those down and then go through the other empty hole of the same super dual. Take another golden, go through this super dual, just like this. And then go through these three beads, the white, the golden and the white. Okay, then I have this and in my next step guys I take two super dues and slide those down and I want to arrange them in this way like I did in my previous step. Then I'm going in the empty hole of this same super dew that I'm exiting out of. Okay, just like this. I'm taking another super dual and I'm going here in the previous super dual and when I pull I have the same element here. Then what I want to do is go through these three super dues and I'm going to repeat guys the same thing that I showed you, one golden and one white bead. I'm sliding those down and I'm turning this super dual in this direction. Then I'm going through the empty hole of the same super dual. Take one seed bead 
and go in the previous super duo. And go through three to all of, through all of the three beads that I have here. Okay. Okay, guys, and I'm sure you could guess what's coming up next. It's two super duos. Slide those down. And now I want to arrange them like I did before in absolutely the same way, like this. And as I'm exiting from this hole of this bit, I'm going through its other empty hole. And I'm pulling. Okay. Then I have this. And I'm taking another bit. And I'm going here through this super do that I have on my way. Okay. And now I arrange the same element one more time. Then I'm going through all of the three beads that I have here. And I take one golden and one super do. Slide those down. And as I'm exiting here, I go through the empty hole of the same super do and backwards. Then I take another golden, go in this super do, and backwards through the super do, golden, and super do. Then two white super do's. And I'm going in the empty hole of this super do. Take another super do. Go in the previous super do like this. And then backwards through these three beads. Okay. So guys, I think you got the idea. Continue this until you have 12 of those elements here I have four so you need to make eight more of those and I'll be back for the last one if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video see it from here and repeat 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 until the end okay my friends and as I continued beading I have 12 of those elements if you haven't done them pause this video and see how I'm doing the previous steps and do this Okay, now what I want to do is connect this side to this side. But before I do this, I will remove this seed bead that I have here. Okay, I want to close it into a circle. And how I do this, I'm going to take one uh, golden bead. Don't worry, it bends uh, at this stage, we'll fix it later. Okay, and you see, I want to connect those two elements with golden beads, okay? And I take one golden. And just to be sure that it's all tight and secure, I go through all of those three white beads like this. You see what I have now. The last and the first elements are connected. Okay, then I take... Then I go through three more white beads in this direction. Because here I need another golden bead. And again to make everything nice and tight, I want to go through all of those three beads. Okay. Then I'm going back and I'm going here after this golden, where my tail thread is. And now what I do is that I make a loop and a knot here with my tail thread and my main thread. I just go twice like this and make a loop. Okay. 
and a knot. Then I want to go in this direction through these two white super juice. And I pull. And I want to go through the empty hole of the same super duo that I'm exiting out of. So I'm zigzagging like I showed you before. And now I think it's safe to cut this tail thread here. Okay. Now guys, I have this. Uh, it's still, it's not turned to the center, but we'll do it in a while. Okay, and how we do this? I take two golden beads and as I'm exiting from this super duo, I go in the empty hole of the following super duo. Okay, this is what I do now. Two goldens. Next empty hole of my following super duo. And at some point, guys, when I continue adding two beads everywhere, my work will start turning to the center and in a circle. Okay. Two more. Okay. Again, two. And I'm going to continue doing these guys until the end of this row and I'll meet you here at this point. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And what I want to do now is just a simple reinforcement of this inner circular row. Okay. I will go through all of those beads. Okay, I'll make this reinforcement and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am. I just reinforced this inner row. And now what I want to do is go in this direction. Then I'm going to be zigzagging here, guys, through my super duo beads. And my goal is to exit through one of those uh, super duo beads that are sticking out the most. Okay. So now I'm here at the inner hole of this super duo. And when I zigzag through it, I have this. Now I'm going to flip my work guys because it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right handed. If it's easier for you, go ahead and do it in the other direction. And I need two golden 11 o's, one golden 8 o's and two golden 11 o's. And I'm going in the next super jaw. Then I take the same sequence and I go here and again the same sequence and the same sequence and I'm sure you got the idea guys and if you're up to here this row won't be any problem for you. Okay, do this off camera. I'll do this off camera and meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And now what I want to do is to reinforce this row by going one more time through all of the beads that I have. At this point, I don't pull too tight, but just go gently around uh, my work. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll tell you what's coming up next. 
Okay guys, and I just reinforced my work and now what I want to do is to make a knot and how I do this, I make here a loop, I go twice through the loop I've made, I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from, I pull, then I go through some beads in this direction, And I cut this tail thread. Okay, my friends, and the last thing I need to do is to take this jump ring, open it up with my pliers, and attach it here to one of those atos. Okay, I'm choosing this one. Now I'm going to take my earring finding, put it here and I'm going to squeeze in the same direction that I opened it. And I pull it like that, okay? Now this is what I have. Okay guys, and now my festive circular earrings with super dual beads are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't also please like share and comment in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it you could also support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching